You need to read my history of Ponca City. It really has some interesting stories. Ponca City has an interesting history because it was not designated a town site in the, uh, uh, the Cherokee land strip run. And the town of Cross was, which is in the middle of Ponc City today. Uh, Mr. Barnes, and here again his name is there, uh, decided uh, to, um, he would like to have his own township. And the story of how before the run, he spent many days traveling into the Oklahoma Territory to find a, uh, a, town, a site for his town. Uh, there was a, a, a road that led from Arkan City actually to Muskogee. Uh, it was just a dirt road or path almost. He would follow that down and when he when it reached the Arkansas River in nearby Ponca, uh, he became very interested in that area because of the existing road. And also nearby was a, uh, a very large uh, water spring, fresh water spring. So that's how he, that was why he established Ponca City when he uh, did. The railroad stopped at Cross and then it went on to um, uh, the um, uh, Indian uh, uh, Reservation, Oto or whatever, well, I think it was Oto. And it did not stop in Ponca City, in the town of Ponca City, even though it it had a, uh, a school and a church and, and was, was growing quite rapidly. The uh, Ponc City petitioned and petitioned the railroad to uh, please let, let them be on their, their uh, train route. And they said, no, you're too close to cross and you're too cross close to the uh, Indian reservation. So the uh, depot at, at cross was a boxcar. So one night, one dark night, a group of Ponc City men and young men and an old men uh, took a team of black horses to cross in the middle of the night, hooked it to the rail, took, hooked it to the boxcar and brought it to Ponc City. So when the citizens of Cross woke up the next morning, they had no train station. Uh, when the train came by, of course, there was no place for them to stop. So they went on, and when they saw the train station, am I getting too windy? You're fine. You're getting saw the uh, the uh, the cross train state uh, train station in Ponca. They stopped. Mr. Barnes' son, Louis Barnes, who was a young man, and a young lady got on the train. The, the young lady passed out bouquets of wildflowers to all the passenger, women passengers on the train. And uh, young Louie, I, I think he passed out cigars, but he passed out cards that said, uh, this train stops in Ponca City just as it does in Chicago. So that's how they got their, their train station.